Hi everybody, this is OP. I'm in Pennsylvania and unfortunately usually this is the place where I meet sometimes with my friend NY Prepper but sadly he's not around, he's on a mission somewhere and I'm doing a restart here, I'm stuck here all day today but it is what it is. It doesn't always work the way we want, whatever it is. Those of you who have watched my joint videos with NY Prepper will probably recognize this little truck stop. I always stop here, most peaceful place in PA. Always lots of space and um, always lots of space and it's just quiet here, you know. After being, you know, up and down the east coast Massachusetts Connecticut really close to New York City it's good to be here in this quietness you know by the way this is my truck and my load 46,000 pounds of a wire check out this wire yeah this wire is pretty pretty heavy but again I like this kind of load it's it's heavy and it's low profile the wind blows right through it so if I go through an area with high winds I'm probably not gonna feel too much in the Ukraine where war continues now they are supposedly having also french light duty tanks and those tanks um they are uh, they look a lot they're they're based on the wheels not on the tracks you know and uh they're light duty they look look a lot like american striker except for american striker has four axles that one has three and of course the cannon is a little bit more powerful they are light duty nevertheless they're still good threat because um, they're super maneuverable so let's see if that's gonna make any difference on the battlefield yeah by the way this is the price of diesel in Pennsylvania on the Sonoka stations you know it varies from truck stop to truck stop but this gives you an idea, for those of you who are curious about the gas and diesel prices. This gas station on the other side also has regular pumps for, you know, no trucks, for just regular passenger cars, and they have gasoline. I'm not sure what the price of gas is here, but that's, that's the price of diesel. Uh, another thing, in Russia, now they are, um, when they try to conscript you, uh, if you try to get away from it they have new rules in place for those who try to get away of course you cannot leave the country you won't be able to you cannot your license gets suspended your driver's license you cannot open a business you can you pretty much cannot do anything so if in Russia you get uh, conscripted and you try to hide you pretty much are screwed of course in Ukraine it's even worse they literally grab you and uh, by the force put you on the front lines uh, whether you like it or not you, you, I've heard of people I know some people who actually are trying to hide and it's not easy because <clears throat> as always in any SHTF, there are always informants and reporters. Uh, it doesn't matter, Ukraine or it will be United States, they always exist. So when SHTF hits here, I'm not saying it's not hitting already, it is, but not to an extent it is in Ukraine. Be aware of those reporters and informants anyway that's all for today 
thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video um, and also share this video if you find it interesting or useful and i'll talk to you in the next upload take care